This time on Woody's Garage, these blue bikes will give you the blues. Well, here's my uh, 1966, I think, CL90. Number one, I actually have two of these. I got one that's a complete rat. And this one that I um, rebuilt the top end when I bought it. It's got a title and everything for it. I think I had it in pretty good shape when I stumbled upon the second CL and put this one away and worked on the other CL, which is still not complete. So I decided to get it out of mothballs today and uh, clean it up, see if it runs, whatever. Oh, 68. It's a 68. Little skid plate down there. I put some air in the tires. That's about it. Very dusty. Deserves better. And we hit it with some soapy water. Get the dust off of it. Probably never start now, right? Not quite sure how we had it wired. It definitely is not stock. It's like extensions. It's just plug. I don't remember if I had the lights working and stuff on this or not. I guess that's half the reason we're getting it started. I had a um, piece of cardboard under it like it was leaking. I don't remember this one leaking, but. Yeah, oil's right up there, nice and clean. Probably change it out anyway. Should probably get a battery on charge. Okay, I got out this variable power supply. Got on six volts. Grounded to the head, and I think that's the positive. Uh, the horn goes, cuck, cuck, cuck. listen. So it's going through a little bit. And I put some gas down the tube here, not in the tank yet. Well, I'm scared it's going to leak. Battery's still charging, so... Let's see if anything happens. Probably no spark. Let's see if you can see this. I get an inconsistent spark. Now I'm getting nothing. Spark then. I drained what was in the carburetor that I put in the carburetor and a lot of, uh, well, the dirt was kind of in the cup already, but uh, that's pretty gross for new gas, so I think there was something still in the bowl. Usually I run them out of gas. I probably try, but that was still left, so let's see what it does now. Let me check the gap on the spark plug. Almost. I smell it. Choke.
guarantee there's new points in here, but uh, I guess we got to look at them. Here are the points. No, I haven't adjusted them because I don't want to take that off because I'm sure they were adjusted from the last time, but you know, we still don't get it running, and that's what we'll do. But see that dot right there? I just stuck the paper in and pulled it out from the the points, and this is what I got. That kind of debris on the points. So let's try it again. See if we can put gas in the tank. And I remember screwing around with this petcock a lot. Hopefully that's not going to leak like a sieve because that would ruin everything. But uh, yeah, I mean, oh, hell, it runs. It's one of those things that um, yeah, I just started trying to ride it around and see if it gets any better. Okay, we got a half charged battery and we got some gas in the tank and the petcock is leaking a little bit. Let's see what can happen now. Went around the block, it sounded good, and then it started to die. <laughs> I had to push it back. I think it's the battery just had not enough juice in it. So we're going to charge it all away. So that'll be a long time. Got the battery charged up. And it's fine now. 
car and I think I hear the cam chain a little bit. I've got balls. One's right. See if we got any lights. Oh, that's a turn signal. Yeah. Headlight. Tail light. Brake light. Machine. Well, it's the next morning. Let's see how this thing starts. I'm thinking today I'm going to drag out my other CL90 and all my Honda 90 parts. The other CL90, the engine's bad on it. There's no compression. And maybe I can make one engine. I think I've tried to do this before, but I've never really pulled all the parts out and looked at everything and seen what my options are. Let's see if this guy starts this morning. The one thing I didn't check yesterday was to see if the charging system is working or if the um, battery is good enough or if we have like a um, voltage runoff or something. You got the choke on, got the gas on, key on. I don't only get uh, pissed off with the other CL. Well, here's number two. Yeah, not as nice as number one, that's for sure. This one, um, kind of bought in parts, semi whole. But it had an engine, had a frame, but the engine got screwed up in shipping. I don't even know which engine it is anymore. Um, I've had it running. Which engine was on it? I can't recall. This one, I think I took a gamble and bought a new piston for it, thinking I had the right size, but it's not making enough compression. At least I think that's what's going on with it. This engine also leaks oil like a sieve. I just, I think it's a gasket, I'm not positive. But it'd be ugly. I was thinking of making it a uh, little off-road machine. Get some better forks for it and, you know, just put around in the woods. Makes this one look really nice, doesn't it? Pulled out one engine that I have. This is an S90 engine, early stages. Um, the problem I have with this one is the cam chain follower in here, the wheel. Doesn't really seem to line up right, so I don't know if I have a variety of parts on here. I don't really know what I got here. It's half the reason I want to look at all this stuff. Here's the next engine. This one I picked up just like this. I've kind of looked it over. I've had that side cover off here because I think the shifting was locked up. I want to see if I could free it. That might still be an option. It has this weird um, dipstick extension. I think I showed this um, ES90 form and someone said like, oh yeah, that's a racing thing or something. I don't know. I want to show something about this dipstick before I put this S90 engine away. Besides the extension, it also has this shit, which, um, where is it, which I guess are like cooling fins for the oil or something. They come up and then they drip and, you know, slowly drip down. I don't know. I don't think it raises the capacity or anything, but I'm pretty sure you need this dipstick or this extension. 
I don't know if this thing unscrews or what. Who knows? Back on the shelf. Got a note here. It probably says it's all screwed up. Cam chain. Bottom end feels good. Lower end feels good. Just, I think it's stuck in gear. Got this big set of parts. Well, maybe not a big set, but some internal stuff, gears and shit. I remember, I think I bought a piston off a guy, and uh, didn't have any rings, but it was pictured with rings for the sale. And I said, like, hey man, it had rings in the picture. And he goes, well, I don't have the rings, but I'll send you all the other parts. So he sent this whole box of stuff. I said, yeah, okay. <laughs> Cost me 14 bucks just to send it. This might be what's wrong with the other engine. Shift drum. I know very little about these. But it looks pretty clean. And the last engine is actually a CL90 engine. I had this as a note on it. I think the hole I'm talking about is right there. Could be JB welded up. But boy, this is missing some crap, eh? I just found this in there. Don't know if it made its way in there or if it was in there from a long time ago. No job. No piston, no head. CL90. I think this is the one I got initially with uh, number two. But um, yeah, it's far from working order. So I'm not seeing a lot of pistons and a lot of jugs, and that's pretty bad. And I got three boxes of parts. And this is where the confusion, <coughs> the confusion kind of is. Because there'll be engine parts, body parts, Different types of scored things. Like, look how nice that is. Looks like an S90 though. You know, wiring. I think these are. I had a CT90. I wish I kept it. And a spare engine too. Muffler, points, clutch. And the wiring. See, I was starting to organize. I got all the wiring stuff together. Well, maybe I did sort of fix things up a little bit. What I'm really hoping to find here is uh, pistons and jugs. Be a good title for a song. There's a jug. I mean, there's a head. Cables, pedals. CT90 I used to ride in the woods and I beat the crap out of it. I bent so many brake uh, pedals. No, I don't see any other pistons in this stuff. Now I just kicked down on it and it really felt like it had some good compression, which is weird. Ugly as it is and screwed up as it is, I love this bike. I don't know, then we'll see if we can get it going. Okay, I've been messing with it for a while to try to get a spark. And we kind of got one. Kind of. Okay, doesn't look that bad. Wiring's kind of a mess. I reset the points over here. And also, I noticed there was a little divot on this wire. A little bare spot. It was clamped right into there. That might help too. Let's see if it starts. 